Hey guys, what is up? Bounce Forty here, and I am back with a, another Ultra Savers video. Now, I'm going to be. This video is going to be about how to change the settings on your Obsidian soundboard, your new Ultra Saber, I guess. Um, now, if you saw my unboxing video, you know I have a Saber with sound, and I'd like to change the settings with it. So, let's just get in how to do that. Now, first, you're going to want to get the um, Obsidian Launcher V4. V3 does not work with any other sabers. V4 works with V4 sabers and below. So it works with any saber pretty much. Make sure to use that. What you want to do is go to saberform, which I, I will put in the description of the video. Saberform.com. <clears throat> and scroll down to the obsidian order. It will not be white, it'll be um, just like the orange. And you click under the obsidian order, and that will bring you to this page you just scroll down and go to obsidian v4 windows launcher if you're on mac i don't know what to do i'm just doing this on pc pretty sure it's similar and you just click the giant download button it'll pop it down here or whatever browser you're on just follow your regular download process eventually it'll bring you to a setup launcher and it'll say like verify stuff like that next and then it'll be, you'll eventually get this. This is the actual launcher. It's downloading again, so my computer's really slow. But this is what it looks like. Um, and to actually connect your saber, there's a connect button with auto connect or whatever. I can't really see because my camera is not good with screens. Um, you don't need to press any of these buttons. First of all, I'll just turn it off. So, what you want to do is unscrew your pommel of the saber, that was loud, and then take your Obsidian Townboard battery packs out. You're going to see this little USB, micro USB plug-in. Make sure not to use a normal micro USB. Use one that looks like this, like, kind of has a different shape, if I can get it to focus. It's not like a basic flat one. Girl, focus, please. Okay, my camera doesn't want to focus. That's basically the shape. It's not, um, it's more squarish rather than normal. You want to just plug that in to right there. Of course, I'm struggling on camera. There, so that's plugged in. Then you should have a other USB plug-in. Plug that into your computer. USB not recognized. Okay, be that way. Oh, that's because you need to turn the saber on. And so you need to turn it on. Then um, take it out and then plug it back in. Take that out. Really? You're not gonna work? Okay. How about there? Hold on a minute. Oh. It's lagging. I think I killed my computer. I literally think I froze the screen. Oh, no I didn't. Oh, it connected. So it should turn the saber off, and then it should bring you to the second tab, which would be all right there. So don't click on the second tab; it'll just automatically connect. And then you have a variety of options. Um, the load defaults button will just load defaults on the saber. But then you can also change the settings, like motion threshold, which is how um, how much motion it takes to swing the saber. So if you, the more you lower that, the easy, the more noise it makes when you swing it. And then you should probably be able to figure out the other ones. Um, the main ones are just motion threshold and impact threshold. So my saber, I added it to um, impact more often, so I don't have to hit as hard with the saber to have it make the impact sound. So that's how you get the launcher. 
and I did not have an emerald saber, so I don't have the emerald option, but if you got an emerald saber, you can change the color of the saber on the go, and have a pulse, which is pretty cool. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, don't care, and peace.